Hello my fellow working class heroes, good day. I am Carlo and welcome to Carlo Excels. These are the objectives of this episode. Today we're gonna talk about how to calculate for fractional ranking in Microsoft Excel. During a previous lesson, we already talked about the rank function. Now, if you do not know how to use the rank function yet, please proceed to the descriptions below this YouTube video for a link on my lesson regarding the rank function. Also, during our lesson on dense ranking, we talked about the common types of ranking. So if you missed that particular part of that particular lesson, please proceed once again to the descriptions down below so that you can see our lesson on the common types of ranking within the video regarding dense ranking. So let's have a review what is fractional ranking. Ranking. Fractional ranking is the third column over here, the one with the decimals. We call it fractional ranking because it is the kind of ranking which tends to have decimals and fractions. The way you calculate fra fractional ranking is when it comes to ties, you take the ordinal uh, numbers of the ranking and then you divide it by the number of elements that have those ranks. So say for example, you have here 90, which is first place, and because uh, 90 is unique, it does not have ties, uh, you have 1 as their fractional rank. 89 is also unique, so it has the second, it's the second place uh, grade, so it has 2 as its fractional rank. Now for 88s, these two 88s over here, this is supposed to be third place, and this is supposed to be fourth place here, but they are tied. So what you do is, you take, because this is third place, you have 3, this is fourth place, you have 4. You take 3 plus 4, uh, 3 plus 4 is equal to 7, and then you divide it by the number of uh, ties the number of elements that are tied. So 3 plus 4 is equal to 7. 7 divided by 2 is 3.5. So that is how you obtain fractional ranking manually. So 87, you will see here, 87 is not tied. So it has here a rank of 5. This is 5 because it has 4, there are 4 uh, values above it. So this is still ranked 5. And for 86, you have here 3 tied values for 86. Now, this is supposed to be 6th place. This is supposed to be 7th place, and this is supposed to be 8th place. So what you do is, 6 plus 7 plus 8, so that is 21. And because there are 3 values tied for uh, this particular place here, 21 divided by 3 is equal to 7. So that is why all of the values here have a fractional rank of 7. And then lastly, you have 85 here, which has no tie, is 9th place. So that is how uh, fractional ranking works. So right now, we're here in Microsoft Excel. And yes, this is the same uh, Excel sheet we used during our lesson on dense ranking. So you'll see here the fictional student names, and then you have here their grades. So for the purpose of this lesson, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pre-arrange all of these grades from highest to lowest. Uh, that I'm, go I'm gonna do that so that uh, the methods I'm gonna teach later is going to be easier to understand and it's going to be easier to see the effects of arrangement. But please take note that even if we're gonna pre-arrange the grades, the methods I'm going to teach you will still work whether the grades are not arranged like this or pre-arranged. So once again, we're here but this time we have here uh, our fictional student names and these are their arranged grades. So the grades of these students have now been arranged from highest to lowest. And of course, you will see the ties here. Just so it's easier to see and understand, what I did was I uh, grouped all of the ties together and then assigned them to a particular color. So it's easier for your eyes to distinguish uh, where the ties begin and where the ties end like this. So just as a review, let's do standard competition ranking. So let's copy this particular uh, heading and then let's name this heading as... Uh, Let's name this heading as uh, competition ranking, like this. Competition ranking, and then let's invoke or let's use the rank function for this. So rank, and then rank this, and then uh, use this as a reference, all of these, and then descending order. Absolute reference over there, just like what we use usually do. Copy this uh, all the way down here. And then we have our uh, standard competition ranking for these particular grades. Now, let's do fractional ranking. Now, there are actually two ways to do fractional ranking. And the way that you do fractional ranking will, of course, depend on first uh, what Microsoft Excel version you are using and what Microsoft Excel version other people around you who may use your same Excel sheet, what they are using as well. So first of all, are you using a Microsoft Excel version that is 2010 and above? 
Or if you are preparing a Microsoft Excel sheet that is going to be used by other people, are they also using a Microsoft Excel version that is 2010 and above? If you are blessed to have Microsoft Excel uh, versions 2010 and above, then you can use the very, very easy rank average function. The rank average function from Microsoft Excel's own help document returns the rank of a number in a list of numbers, its size relative to other values in the list. If more than one value has the same rank, the average rank is returned. For the rank average function, the function name is rank. Uh, rank.avg and for your function arguments you have the number the reference and the order actually the rank average function works exactly exactly the same as uh, the standard rank function the only difference is with its results whereas the standard rank function will give you competitive ranking uh, the rank average function will give you fractional ranking. So let's use the rank average function. First of all, let's create a new column here and then let's label that as F rank. And then let's use the rank average function. Once again, if you already know how to use uh, the standard rank function, the average, the rank average function is actually exactly or almost identical to it. The only difference is in its function name, one is rank and the other is rank average. And the other difference is, of course, its effects. Whereas the standard rank, fu rank function will give you competitive ranking, the rank average function is going to give you fractional ranking. So let's use the rank average function. So let's call it a function name. That's rank AVG. And then let's use, uh, let's tell Microsoft Excel to rank this. And then the basis for ranking that are all of these values here. And of course, we want to rank it in descending order, meaning highest grades first. So, that. And because we plan to copy-paste uh, this uh, function downwards, we set the references to absolute references. Like that. Center that just to beautify it a little bit. And then, let's copy that and paste it all the way down here. And then, you now have, of course, fractional ranking. Very quick, very easy. Once again, if you or your users have a, uh, an Excel uh, version 2010 and above. But what if your Microsoft Excel version is not 2010 and above? What if it's Microsoft Excel 2007? Or what if you're not quite sure about the version that your users are going to use and some of them may be using 2007? Well, it's going to be, uh, you can still achieve fractional ranking, but it's going to be a slightly roundabout way, but it's still possible. If you want to achieve fractional ranking without using the rank average function, you need the fractional ranking correction fra uh, factor, just like what you can see on the screen. So this is the formula uh, to use when it comes to fractional ranking. Do not worry, you don't have to uh, manually write this down as you're watching this YouTube video. You can copy this particular uh, correction factor. It's, it can be found in the descriptions below this YouTube video. And I'm going to show you how to use this correction factor. So let's create another uh, let's create another column here. And this time, let's label this as a correction factor, CFF rank, correction factor fractional ranking. So this is a uh, the fractional ranking we're going to get by using the correction factor. First step, you first need to get the standard competitive ranking. In other words, using the standard rank function first of the grades that you want to rank. So let's use the rank function again. Rank, uh, Microsoft Excel, please rank this number using these numbers as a basis. And once again, let's do it in descending order. And then, of course, put absolute references here, like so, and then press enter. So once again, this is standard competitive ranking. That's the first step. Next step is you add the correctional factor to that particular formula. So you have here, we already entered uh, the standard ranking. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the correctional factor formula. I'm going to take the correctional factor formula like so. And then I'm going to add it. In other words, plus sign add it to this particular formula here. So, control V, just like what you can see on the screen. Now, you will notice on the uh, on the correction factor formula, you will notice words that says dollar $ref, and then you will notice words that says number. So, what you want to do is, you want to substitute all of the instances of dollar $ref to, uh, you want to substitute it with uh, the basis for ranking. In other words, the column all of the column with the values that you want to use as a basis for ranking. And all of the instances 
that has the word number in it, you want to replace with the cell reference or the actual number that you want to rank. So let's demonstrate that. So the instances of dollar $ref, like you see here, we're going to replace that with these cells here because these cells here are what we want to use as a basis for our ranking. And it says dollar $ref, so that is a reminder for us to use absolute referencing. So uh, absolute referencing like so. Let's take that and then copy that to all of the other instances of dollar $ref, like what I'm doing here. And once again, this number word here, we want to replace with the actual number that we want to rank. So let's delete that and then replace it with cell B2, which is the number we want to rank. So cell B2, copy that, paste that over here as well. And now that that formula is done, we press enter. And because we used absolute references in the correct spots, we can simply take this formula, paste it all the way down here, and when we do, we now have fractional ranking using the correction factor. Now, I want to point this out that using the fractional ranking with the correction fra uh, factor is accurate. You will see here, it has the exact same values with using the rank average function. If, once again, you are blessed enough to have uh, Microsoft Excel versions 2010 and above. So... Both methods work just fine. So just like what I mentioned a while ago, the formula or the methods that I taught you will still work even if the grades are not pre-arranged. So just as a proof of concept, I am going to remove the fill here and then I am going to arrange the students alphabetically. And when I arrange the students alphabetically, it will of course um, disarrange their grades like this. And you will notice that even if the grades are not arranged alphabetically, the formulas for uh, the fractional rank, both methods of the fractional rank, will still work just fine. And so, so far this channel, we've, uh, we've dealt with competition ranking, we've dealt with dense ranking, this lesson dealt with uh, fractional ranking. During our next lesson, we will deal with unique ranking and how to get it in Microsoft Excel. That is our next lesson, so once again, please subscribe to the channel so that you don't miss that lesson when it comes. So that's it for how to obtain fractional ranking in Microsoft Excel. I hope I earned your subscription today. Once again, I am Carlo and this is Carlo Excels. Thank you very much for watching.